Hi, in this demo you will see features that enable collaborative development of semantic models in Oracle Analytics Cloud. I'll be using two users. I have logged in as semantic model author and the, the second user that I'll be sharing semantic model with will be semantic model author too. I'm going to inspect this first semantic model here, sample sales git, inspect. I'm going to go to the sharing tab. You have to, you'll see two options, share using git and share using permissions. Right. I'm going to share this first one with git integration. So I'm just going to open the semantic model and at the bottom right corner, you will see the Git icon to toggle the Git panel. I'm going to say start the Git configuration. And the first thing uh, we need is the Git repository URL. I'm going to go to GitHub for this particular demo. I'm going to create a new Git repo. And I'm just going to name it SM Git, make it private, and I'm going to create this Git repo. I have the option to integrate using HTTPS or SSH protocol. I'm just going to go with HTTPS, copy the HTTPS URL, go back to Oracle Analytics Cloud, and paste the URL. I'm going to click on Continue. And for the, I already have a Git profile that I created earlier. I'm going to use the Git profile for GitHub. I'm going to initialize Git. At this point, all the files that make up the semantic model is initialized to Git. We are going to go back to GitHub again. If I refresh the SM Git repo, we'll see all the files that make up my semantic model are in this Git repo right now. I'm going to go back to Oracle Analytics Cloud and go to the semantic models listing screen. Now you'll see that sample sales Git has integrated with SM Git. Let's go to the inspect tab again, inspect menu again, and sharing. You'll now see that sharing using Git shows the information about the Git repo that the semantic model is integrated. At the same time, you'll also notice that sharing using permissions is grayed out. So if a semantic model can only be shared using Git or using permissions, but not both. So let's see how to share using permissions. I'm going to close the semantic model and open another semantic model that says semantic sample sales shared and I'm going to click on inspect menu again, go to shared. Here I'll see I have two options, share using Git and share using permissions. I'm going to click on share using permissions. By default, semantic model author is the user that created the semantic model, so has full control to, uh, to it. I can now um, share this semantic model with another user or an application role. In this particular case, I'm going to share it with semantic model author 2. And I have the option to give a full access or rewrite access. And I'm going to give full access. I'm going to save and close this inspect dialog. Now we'll be logging in as semantic model author 2. And we'll see um, you know, how these models are shared with semantic model author 2. Now I'm logging in as semantic model author 2. OK, go to profile here. You'll see I have logged in as semantic model author 2. If I go to semantic model listing screen, you'll see that sample sales shared, which was shared using permissions, I already have access to it. Right? Um, so if I open this model, you'll see that I have access to a sample sales shared. Again, if I go to inspect, you will see that the owner is semantic model author and a semantic model author too has access to it. And uh, I, since I was given full control, I also have access to the sharing tab. Okay, But as you can see on the top, since I do not own this a semantic model author too does not own this model, you know, both the options are grayed out. Now, what about the semantic model that was shared with Git? Okay, To work with that semantic model, you can create a new semantic model. I can name it any uh, name. In this particular case, I'm going to say semantic model author to Git shared model and create. And you pick the last option that says clone a Git repo. So I'm going to choose clone a Git repo. 
I'm going to paste the Git repo URL, say continue, and I'm going to use an existing profile that I created earlier to clone it. Okay, Git cloning is successful, and you can see that all these semantic model definitions um, were cloned from a Git repo. And if I open the Git panel, it'll say it is already integrated with uh, the same Git repo as semantic model author. In summary, for collaborative development of semantic models by multiple developers and teams, Git integration is the best approach. And for simply sharing semantic models, sharing with permissions can be used.